Hi, we're uh, Kurt and Ann from Plaid Cattle, speaking to you on critical mass. How's our hair? <laughs> well, luscious, I think. <laughs> our drummer is missing. He's not here. His name is Ron Lively. And that's it. Three piece. Power trio. And we quit. See ya. <laughs> that's good. Okay. Go ahead, Ray. Just three of the band. That's yours. Well, you're the oldest living member. Don't start that. We won't have any of that now. Okay, I guess it started <laughs> in different. what, like 86? Pretty Probably. old. Probably. Yeah, something Kurt's like that. the original plaid cattle. Or maybe I was in the original. You were there. Oh. So I've been, I've been in and out of the band, but the last three years I've been in the band. I fire her a lot. Okay, here's the doozy. Is it easy to collaborate musically as a husband-wife team? <sighs> Next question, please. <laughs> <laughs> We don't want to talk about that. Oh, no, sure, give it to him. It's not easy. It's pure. It's pure hell. <laughs> what is? Will that be edited out? <laughs> <laughs> um, <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, it's it's all right. A lot of arguing. Yeah, we argue more about writing songs together than we do anything else. I think. Our drummer's really. He sits there. He does there well. He, he does well with us. He just he sits puts there and with it, looks at us. And it's amazing. It's like, is quiet. Ah, oh, this again. <laughs> Smoke cigarettes. And it's pretty funny. Just watches us. Goes, it'll blow over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the stuff that's going to be shown here uh, with this interview is from the Mississippi River Music Seminar or Conference or Festival. I can't remember the total name. But uh, it, was a, it was a pretty good thing for a first-year deal. It went real smooth. There was a lot of good bands to see. And uh, we just had a really good time hanging around, you know. I mean, of course, we didn't get signed, didn't expect to get signed, but it was a, a really s pretty smoothly run thing, considering the first year and all. The song's called Lonely or Hungry, and it's on the single that we released about a year ago.
most recent thing is a single, just a two song single. And it's. What is that, about a year old now, I think? Yeah. And it's like a vinyl. It's e we don't have it on tape, do we? No. It's just on yeah, vinyl, it's which, and it's vinyl. moving real fast. Yeah, I think we <laughs> sold have three copies. <laughs> Of course, we pressed four, so it's doing well. But it's, <laughs> you know, we like it. It's just a, it's not an accessible medium. We just yeah. thought it'd be cool to have a little seven inch. The next, uh, the next project we do is definitely going to be released as a tape, and if we can get the extra money together, we'll do a CD, which we're hoping for. So far, things are going well, though. It's about mixed. We should have it done by Christmas, but not out at that time. So it's getting fairly close. <laughs>
your sense of humor. No, don't use your sense of humor.